Hello, my name is Ana Ojeda Pinzón and I am the Product Application Specialist for Large Excavator in Europe. Welcome to the 352 Workaround. Uh, it is my pleasure for me to refresh you some of the key features and benefits of this versatile machine that you're going to be able to find it in queries or in construction sites. So the scope of the development of this machine was to improve several things. Uptime, fuel efficiency, operating cost and owning cost. So let's go together through it and let's see what we discover. Firstly, I would like to tell you some general specs. For example, C13, that's the engine of this excavator, 316 kilowatts, tier four final, stage five. This machine is the perfect pass match for a 30 metric stone truck loaded in six passes. So, now that we are in front of the pump compartments, let's talk together and have a conversation about fuel efficiency. So as you may know, we need an engine to generate power and that engine is connected to a pump. The pump, it is creating the flow of the oil. Together, they produce the hydraulic power that we need to do our tough work. So the strategy of this machine it is to increase the uh, pump displacement, allowing the engine to lower the RPMs, and that means that we need less fuel consumption. Okay, but finally we have the same hydraulic power. Another feature that it is also contributing to fuel efficiency, it is the main valve. After these two comp uh, components that I told you, we have the main hydraulic valve. This 352 has evolved from a pure hydraulic main valve to an electrohydraulic one. With that, we are skipping the hydraulic pilot lines. We are, don't have um, a pilot pump anymore and we don't have a pilot filter anymore. So we are saving fuel plus having a faster response of the machine because of an electronical signal. And if you come with me, we're gonna discover another feature that it is saving fuel in this machine. So, the other system which is saving fuel in this machine, it is the cooling system. So, we are coming from a pure hydraulic commanded system and we are going to an electrical commanded system. Here we have a hydraulic fan and two electrical fan, both of them electronically commanded and both of them on demand. That means that the speed of the fan are going to be adapted depending on the cool necessities. That means fuel saving again, why? Because the fans are gonna be working only when it is needed at the speed that it is needed. So the combination of the three strategy all together is allowing this machine to go to up to 10% fuel efficiency. And now let's talk a little bit about uh, safety, which is a key element. As you saw me in the beginning of this connection, I was checking some of the daily checkpoints and that it is thanks to the possibility of checking most of the checkpoints from the ground level. And the one that has to be checked in the top of the machine has a safer and safe access due to the service platform and the handrails. Same story for the service. And uh, let's go now to the cabin. So, the new color of the seat belt has more visibility, allowing to control from the outside if it is fastened or not. And in the monitor, we're gonna see the images of our integrated standard rear camera. It has improved the visibility and we can see what is stand behind the machine when we are traveling or when we are singing. And that prevents us to hit objects of people. 
and uh, this can be upgraded to a 360 view and uh, in our new monitor we are going to be able as well to see travel indicators it is um it is an advantage when operating environment is not safe and uh, traveling uh, direction is critical then this is going to help us and uh, we also have level indicators that it is reducing the risk of rolling over or tipping and now to continue with this workaround we are going to connect with another 352 that we have in, in a job site so who is there so hello everybody uh, it's frankie out in the field um, what we're going to see now is the cat gray control, okay, and just to highlight, uh, I'd like to make the, the, the point, it's only indication, okay, so it's not automatic, it's still for the operator to move the, the bucket to follow the grade. So I do have the trench already started to not take too much time up, okay, but again, this is like what we have on our previous models on the 320, 323, it's exactly the same. So what I did here, I've already set up an 80 centimeter depth. 2% uh, uphill towards the machine, okay? Again, we can have four preset um, depths and slopes saved in the machine and we can just toggle them um, just by tapping on the, on the shortcuts. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna bench, okay, and the machine is telling me I have to go down 80 centimeters, what I told it, and we also have the light bar indication here on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna start digging. We also have the audible warning, which can be customized by the operator, depending on his preference. You can change the volume or actually turn the, the noise off. Okay, and it's pretty much what we have on the previous models, okay? It's very intuitive to use and easy for the operator. And again, I'm, use, I'm touching everything on the display, but all the buttons can be customized depending on operator preference to fit his needs and work all these technologies from the joysticks. Okay, so I'll just do another one clean up pass here. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you, okay, is the e-fences. I'll only show you a couple. So first one I want to show you is, is the e-fence ceiling. Okay, so I'm going to swipe over to my e-fence page and if I press and hold, it's like a shortcut and I'm going to activate the e-fence ceiling. So basically what I've done, it's taking the highest point of the machine, which is right now up at the top of the stick. And this green light here is, this green line is illuminated, meaning I've activated my e-fence ceiling. So now I'm going to boom up, I'm holding the boom if I had a power line or something, I could be avoid having to look up every time and being sure that I'm not hitting that power line. We do get the audible warning, which cannot be turned off because this is for safety, let's say. Okay, so the next one I'd like to show you is if I was working with a building or something in front, a road that I didn't want to um, reach out to, I would activate my e-fence. Um, sorry, not the floor. I didn't want to show the floor. Sorry, I wanted to show the wall. Sorry about that. So now I have the green line in front illuminated, okay, and it's gonna lock out any movement that would go beyond that point. So I'm gonna hold my stick out. Okay, and right now it's locking out my stick. I'm gonna keep opening the bucket, but it doesn't let me either because the bucket would also go beyond that point. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this one off. And the last one I wanna show you is, is for example, my swing e-fence left because I'm swinging left so again I could have a road with live traffic a building or something and I want to avoid hitting that um, building or the, going into that road so again I can forget about where I'm stopping over there because the machine is going to automatically stop me before going beyond that point and the last thing I'd like to mention is maybe just a small highlight again all these technologies can be combined working together so for example I still have my grade on I don't want to hit the building but I can still continue working my trench or if it was payload I could also work combining payload okay so I'm gonna hand it back to Anna um, thank you very much have a nice day okay Frank thank you so much for your demo it looks easy when you work uh, with technology and for you 
remember that technology is a standard in our 352. Regarding maintenance cost, they have decreased up to 15%. And my colleague Juan, in the video on the 374, they are, he is going to explain you the details on how do we achieve that. So this is all what we have. Thank you so much, and we we'll see each other in the next video.